Welcome back, everyone. Um, good to see you coming back to the channel. I have moved the speaker, so I hope that the sound still works today. Um, I'm using a new camera stand, so we'll see how we go. So, in this collection of videos that I am going to be putting up, um, obviously by the title, there are going to be some spoilers in this information. So if you don't want the storyline ruined for you, then don't be watching these. Um, I'm posting these mostly so you can see how I got to the conclusions that I have reached, but I'm not going to tell you what those conclusions are because there will be some people out there who want to know what the storyline looks like, but don't necessarily want um, the ending ruined for them. You know, they, they still want to enjoy the game, but maybe they can't afford the data that is involved in all of this. I actually maxed out my data trying to achieve um, the information that I have gotten on this. So here we go. Um, so I guess I should just start at the very beginning. How did I even get in on this? Um, because when I have been talking to some other players about this, I have said that the last thing I did was I went to the Welcome Home page. So how did I manage to get as far into this as I did without going there firstly? Well, I used links to other places first. And um, if you remember back to some of the introductory videos, if you haven't watched those, go back and review them because that will help you better understand some of what I'm going to be talking about here today and in the next um, videos I post. Um, I use a uh, very um, interesting investigative method, one that I like, one that really gives me a mental sprint and it feels good. So um, I like the pace that it takes and that means that I'm going to be using one of those rules which is investigator gamers share information. So um, they like to talk about you know their findings and make those available on various platforms. So this is what I've decided to use. As such I ended up going on YouTube and um, looking at recommended videos. Now the first thing that happened as a recommended video was someone else's uh, take on how the storyline was going so far. And previously I had seen um, the Welcome Home um, gaming stuff as a recommendation in the first place, but I didn't really want to look at it because it just kind of reminded me of an old childhood cartoon and I prefer the original so I was thinking well if this is a knockoff of the original then I'm just not interested thanks but no thanks good job guys I'm moving along with my life not realizing that it was an alternate reality game because that was the first time I had come across those three letters ARG sitting side by side um, so I really didn't know what I was looking at but in the YouTube recommendation that I actually watched, ARG um, had its an acronym broken down right next to the letters, and I thought, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's an alternate reality game. This looks interesting. And, um, yeah, so when I started this, one of the things that um, I want to make note of for viewers and people who have looked into the... Um, how to play the game videos that I've posted. When you play this and you use the rap method, um, you may uh, find that it's running too fast. The reason why I say this is because I started this on a uh, Wednesday afternoon. I believe it was the 5th of this month. And I had come to almost all of the conclusions that you are going to be hearing in the following videos uh, by the next day at 1 30 p.m. So that included, by the way, me actually getting plenty of sleep and still taking care of my daily responsibilities. So <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a mental sprint if you want it. Um, that's why I like it. That's why I recommend it. Um, so that is a good idea of the speed of rap method. It's very fast paced. Um, that said, uh, 
I have added some things to this investigation stuff that I have collected. Um, and these are the very cleaned up, ver uh, cleaned up version of the notes that I took. So be aware, this is not what my notes originally looked like. I would like to say that my notes always look this nice. <clears throat> no, they don't. They're scattered. They're all over the place. Um, but uh, it's obvious that a creative mind has been at work <laughs> um, making notes and um, trying to process everything that's running through their head. So um, I've made this as clean and streamlined as possible so that way you guys can better understand uh, the thought processes that took place and you don't have to look at my mad scratchings to understand that. So... When we start investigating this, uh, we go back to the original concept, which is question one, what stands out? Well, the most obvious thing that stands out is going to be um, the color and the friendliness, but that's not exactly what we're talking about here. We want to get away from the distractions. so. When you take out the most obvious thing, then what stands out? And I have listed... That's my pet cat, Melchit. Yes, school kitty. Meow, yes. So, one of the first things that um, I noticed was an unnerving image. And in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that it's important to note gut feelings about things. Whether you have anything to base that gut feeling on or not, it doesn't matter. Write it down uh, because that will come in handy later, more than likely, because there's something there that hasn't quite dawned on you yet. And um, after I had done all of this stuff that um, I found between Wednesday afternoon and uh, the next day, Thursday, I still came across some of those things that attach to gut feelings. And I thought, oh, well, you know, it's a good thing I wrote that down. It's a good thing I kept that somewhere in my notes. So here we go. One of those gut feelings is right here. It was a black and white drawing of Wally and Barnaby that was on the front page. And this is in the Welcome Home site. Um, and Wally's facial expression just seemed a little weird. I mean, I realize that this is a drawing of a, uh, puppet that's supposed to be from the show, and in the drawings of the puppets, you can have whatever facial expressions you want. But, I don't know, it just seemed a little strange. Uh, I found on, found out later on that Wally actually wishes he could frown. I found that information very interesting as well, so I, I wrote that down. Another gut feeling um, that was rather discomforting, for some reason I just didn't feel comfortable about the puppet Frank, and I don't know why, but we'll talk about the number of Franks that are in this later on. Um, kudos to the uh, authors for that one, because whether that was intentional or not, that's actually really clever to have a lot of the same name showing up in multiple places. It can create confusion if applied um, correctly. The other thing, one of the biggest things that stood out was home. And there came with this subject a lot of questions, and you can see those here. So anytime you um, are playing these games and something stands out, it's important to ask who, what, when, where, why, and how. And there are a few others that you can also ask, and we'll talk about those later. And even if you can't really fit together a sensible question based on the who, what, when, where, why, and how, that's okay. Let your brain massage that information for a little bit and you will come up with a question that surrounds the subject that includes that start to your question. And here's an interesting tip. If it's too difficult to put to um, a question when you're talking about the subject, then maybe that's an avenue that you should further investigate in these games because that's an avenue that fewer gamers have gone down. You might find that 
um, it leads you down a rabbit warren that you didn't even know would have existed otherwise. So even if it doesn't make sense, try it because it might lead you to some other stuff. And in fact, if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you're processing it just mentally, that might mean that there really is something important there. And other gamers aren't going to be likely to think of it. So, who is home? Well, home is obviously the ninth resident and is secret. I mean, that only brings up more questions, doesn't it? Why, why do we have to have a secret resident in the first place? I mean, I realize it's a children's show, but that's just a little bit sus. And what is home exactly? Another way of wording this is what isn't home? I mean, if home is the ninth resident and is a secret, this might be a sort of backhanded way of finding out the answer to this. Um, because we're asking in another sense, is home a puppet? And if so, that just raises more questions. Um, but when, when, how, how do you form a, formulate a question here? This is one of the examples that I was talking about. When did home first become a resident? Um, and I had to massage my brain a little bit to think of a question to go with this, but why not? When did home first become a resident? If home has not always been a character in the show, or if home has not always been a resident in the show, then why did home become a resident? Why did home get introduced to the show in the first place? These are questions that arise from the answer to that. Um, where is home or where is home not? So, Okay, we talk about how, ro how home is in the center of town, but at the same time, I have to wonder, if it's a puppet, does it interact with other people in the show? Does it, I mean, characters, you know? Um, does it interact with um, visitors to the show? Does the show have visitors? That's another question that I have, um, and I only just thought of that then. Another one is why is home the ninth resident? Now, I mentioned this before. Why, why is home even a resident to begin with? Why is it the ninth resident? My question is, why isn't it the first resident? If home is the main subject of the show, and we are supposed to be... Sorry, checking on the time here. I'm trying to keep it down to 20-some-odd minutes. Um, if home is uh, supposed to be the main focus of the show, then why in heaven's name is it not the first resident it is in the center of town after all and why is it a secret resident again shouldn't it be one of the most prominent residents uh, this this is all very sus to me and how 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 is home is that again is a really weird question to try to ask so massage a little bit and you get how did home become the ninth resident so that ties into what I was just talking about. Why is home the ninth resident? Why isn't it the first resident? And how did home become the ninth resident would be an interesting thing to understand about the storyline as well. Um, and again, when we talk about um, the investigation of this game and specifically into the layers of the uh, Welcome Home show, uh, there are a few things that come out, like, uh, does home play out as a character in the show, and if so, how does it interact? And do the inter do the other characters interact with home? Now, we know that um, Wally interacts with home, and we'll talk more about that later. I've highlighted a few things here, mostly because I want to talk to you about spawns, and I wanted to remember for myself some spawns that came up. Now, spawns are questions that come up because of an answer to another question. So, here we see spawns regarding home, specifically. Um, why is home a secret resident? We mentioned that a while ago. Why doesn't home have their own character page? Okay, I'm glad I wrote this down because it's been ages since I've looked at these notes, by the way, guys. Um, I 
wondered why you had to tap into Wally's character ID because if home again is supposed to be the focus of the show why doesn't home have their own ID page um, the character page is supposed to be there for fans of the show to interact with blah blah, blah. so I mean come on that somehow doesn't make any sense it's a little bit off um, and why does home have to sh okay so there we go why does home have to share a character page with Wally um, in other words why Wally Okay, so you remember back before I was saying what stands out, what seems most obvious. Well, here we go. Here's a rabbit warren. Why Wally? Or why not any other character? Why couldn't they have shared a page with, say, Frank? Why couldn't they have shared a page with the postman? These are some basic questions that we should be asking when we're looking at this information. So, going back to question one. Oh my god, it gets so... <laughs> nauseatingly repetitive sometimes, guys, because you always go back to question one, and that is what stands out. So, Wally, obviously. Oh my goodness, there is so much surrounding this character. It is deliciously thick with questions and spawns. So, who is Wally? Well, he's the eighth resident. Um, what is Wally? Well, a puppet, a main character. Um, when did Wally first appear in the show? That's how I decided to word the when on this one. Um, that might be important um, to just kind of finding out other bits of information because you may discover that Wally was there before home. Maybe home was there before Wally and Wally is just a sideline to home and then wound up taking over um, a bigger role in the show after... Um, popularity was um, collected about that character. Um, where is Wally? Well, as far as I know, Wally is in pretty much every show and lives in the center of town. Uh, why does Wally live in the secret residence? That's a little creepy. I'm sorry, guys, but um, somehow this just smacks of religious stuff at this point because he's living in a character kind of like a church you know people I hate to use that as an example but that's the best one I've got people say oh the church is a living thing but then we go to church and then we go inside church it's like, okay all right there's that just seems like an easter egg to me um, so, how is Wally operated? So, that might give us an idea of who the original um, puppet master was and who the selected puppet master might be now. Um, and we're talking about this show being revived, according to the um, storyline anyway so far. So, um, maybe someone... Um, some imaginary individual has been selected as the operator for the puppet. Um, that brings me to another collection of things, but I'll talk about that later. Um, something that unnerved me, as I say, was about him living in another character on the show. Um, I want to know about Wally's personality. Because... There are some uh, investigative players who are saying that Wally's personality changed from the original to now, and I'm thinking, oh, well, I haven't found any of that, but then I didn't go down that avenue, did I? I went down another avenue. So, never mind. Um, and has that character's personality changed at any time? Again, other players are saying that it has. I don't know. Uh, who was the puppet master originally, or who was the operator originally? Um, this may tell us a bit more about the selection criteria uh, for who gets to be Wally in the show. Um, and it may tell us a bit more about um, the sort of actors and actresses and whatnot in this imaginary world and... Um, it may, that name in its own right may lead down another rabbit worm, which would be really cool. Um, and who is filling the role of Wally now? Now, there is something that is also an Easter egg, which won't be in this 
right now. It'll be in another video later on. This was a very important question to ask. I'll tell you that here now. Um, so, does Wally like home? He has to live in home. Does the character Wally like home? We assume so. This is only an assumption, however. Is there any character that Wally doesn't get along with? There is an important question, isn't it? I mean, Wally's supposed to be, you know, the friendly, go-lucky guy who gets along with everybody, but there's bound to be someone in the show that's a bit like maybe, um, too difficult for any of the other characters to get along with, and they just have to find polite ways to deal with them, um, which is a very classic theme in children's shows, and seeing as how this whole um, alternate reality game, this particular chapter of it, is based on that concept, I can only assume that there would be one of those in the show. Now, we know that Wally has a best friend, and his name is Barnaby. Um, Barnaby raises a few more questions, so I just kind of wrote that in red. Um, he also likes to paint. This is Wally I'm still talking about here. That's our main subject. Um, so, Wally likes to paint. And he likes to paint things that make him happy. Now, if his best friend is Barnaby, maybe he's painted some pictures of Barnaby. I don't know. That's not important. Or, maybe. We'll think about that. Barnaby's footprints, however, are found between Wally's house and his. And I find this very interesting as Wally does like to paint. Barnaby is listed as being a little bit mischief. So, it's okay. Right. So, these prints are blue. I don't know if that's going to be important later or not, but if those uh, footprints turn into a link to do something, that'd be fun to follow and see what happens. Um, a gut feeling that I got was that Barnaby is a little bit on the domineering side. The size difference between the two puppets is quite significant, and I just felt like Barnaby at this stage um, might be um, representing a more sinister figure or sinister something um, behind the scenes. Um, back to question one, once again, what else stands out? And I think that is where I will leave you with this video for now, and I will cover more of this information in the next video. And if you want to pause and look at those notes that I just showed you just now, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.